your water meter. And if I find a leak, I'll let you know. I'm Brandon with the Utilities Department. I test, install, and replace water meters to ensure customers are confident that their water meter is accurate and dependable. I'm Matt, and I ensure water and wastewater lines are designed to serve Chesterfield County residents and businesses. I'm Chris, and I work for the Utilities Department. I ensure pump stations connected to the water tanks are working properly so we have enough water supply to meet our customers' needs. My name is Ashley and I work for the Chesterfield Department of Utilities. I help customers set up their water and wastewater accounts if they are moving or new residents. Hola, mi nombre es Ashley y trabajo con el Departamento de Utilidades. Yo asisto a los clientes a empezar cuentas nuevas de agua o drenaje o si se está mudando, también asisto en esa área. I'm Christina and I work in the lab at the Chesterfield County Proctors Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant. I was able to create a disinfectant that we can use to clean surfaces and doorknobs to promote healthy work conditions. My name is Rodolfo and I work for the Utilities Department. When our customers call with questions, I have the answers. Mi nombre es Rodolfo y trabajo para el Departamento de Utilidades. Cuando nuestros clientes llaman con preguntas, yo tengo las respuestas. I'm Mike with the Utilities Department. My team and I work around the clock to repair water leaks in our system so that you have water to use in your home and to wash your hands. Hi, this is Abba Sharma with the Department of Utilities. I work with the industries, restaurants, and businesses to help them achieve environmental compliances so that our wastewater treatment plant is not adversely affected. Our oversight and guidance ensures that our community has environmentally sustainable future. I'm Kenny with the Utilities Department. I oversee technology that supports our water distribution and wastewater collection system and provides our customers with dependable, reliable service. I'm Jeff. I manage the Chesterfield County's wastewater treatment facility. These plants treat wastewater according to state and federal regulations to ensure public health and environmental health. I'm DJ. I work with utilities. I inspect water and wastewater lines to ensure that the services we provide our customers are safe and reliable. Hi, this is Doug Bilski from Mental Health Support Services. During this COVID-19 crisis, it's even more important that we stay connected to the individuals who rely on our department for the services and supports that they need. So at Mental Health, we're using telehealth in creative new ways to reach out to those that we serve. Hi, I'm Christopher Jigway, Employment Specialist. Rhonda Shaw, Residential Counselor. Hello, Ilana Coleman, Residential Counselor. George Cosby, Residential Counselor. We are working, working daily to support our individuals through the COVID-19 pandemic. Hi, I'm Erica with the In-Home Program. During these times of uncertainty, we're following CDC guidelines to keep ourselves healthy and safe. We're also helping our consumers through education. We're conducting weekly phone calls to help ensure our consumers and their families are practicing social distancing, wearing face masks, and washing their hands frequently so they can also stay healthy and safe. Hello, my name is Vanessa Walker. I am a full-time residential aide at Panthers ICF. I have been working continuously throughout this pandemic to make sure that our individuals are healthy and safe.
I'm Deputy Javier Smith from the Chesterfield County Sheriff's Office, and we work hard every day to help keep our civilians and staff safe while in the Chesterfield Courthouse. I'm Officer Haley with the Police Department and I'm ensuring the safety of our community. Hi, my name is Elliot Anderson, a 22 year veteran of the Chesterfield County Police Department. I currently serve as a recruiter in the department, but I've had the opportunity to serve in various other specialized units in our agency. Uh, I served as an LGBTQ liaison, a community policing officer, and a crime prevention officer. And I felt each of these positions to be fulfilling. Hi, I'm Corporal Dustin Wilson with the Chesterfield County Police Department. I work in community policing in the Ettrick Matoka area. Uh, what we do down there is strategic problem solving, helping you clean up some of the blight that might be in the neighborhood, helping you with some of the neighborhood disputes. In addition to that, we like to put out some things for the kids to do, keep the kids engaged, because we know they've had a lot of energy and have been stuck at home for a long time. They need an outlet for that energy. So we've been using social media to push some of those things out. So keep an eye on Chesterfield County's Next Door app, as well as our Facebook uh, page, and you might see some more activities for the kids coming along. Hi, my name is Polly Malatesta. I am a master officer with the Chesterfield County Police Department and I am currently assigned to the police personnel unit as one of the department's recruiters. And during this time, we've really adjusted to virtual events. We've adjusted to virtual opportunities to really share with our community what is available to them as far as law enforcement opportunities go. I'm Nick Larson with Fire and EMS, and I am dedicated to providing the highest quality of public safety services to the residents of Chesterfield County. I'm Kat McLaughlin with Fire and EMS, and I strive every day to keep our county fire safe. I'm Teray here. I work with Fire and EMS, and I'm with an ISP division, and every day I work to ensure the first responders with the latest and greatest technologies. I'm Tracy with Fire and EMS. I work every day to educate our community on how to be fire safe. I'm Jasmine Davis with Fire and EMS, and I work hard to minimize risk to life, property, and the environment by eliminating hazards. Hi, I'm Billy Dowdy with Fire and EMS. I provide high quality patient care to those suffering traumatic and medical emergencies. 